Welcome back everybody, How to Tech Studio here. And as the title says, we are going to be talking about the working methods in order to spoof your Pokemon Go. Now, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and click on that notification bell to get the updates directly sent to you. Now, as you can see on this screen right now, we are going to talk about three methods of spoofing Pokemon Go that are currently working as of right now. And we're gonna go through each one in turn. We're gonna be looking at a really good piece of software, a way of installing it directly onto your machine. And then we're also going to be talking about the no PC methods and what is currently going on with those as well. So make sure you use the timestamps in the description and we're going to go through each one in turn. So make sure you stay tuned all the way through the video. So let's go ahead and show you method number one. The first method I wanted to show you on how to spoof Pokemon Go, catch more Pokemon, no need to jailbreak, is called I Any Go by a company called Tenor Share. Now they are really, really good at changing locations on any iOS device and on the latest iOS versions. Now, as you can see, it uses a computer and it links directly to your device. So you do not need any sort of spoofed or hacked version. And you can literally click places and teleport from one place to another, like I just showed you. You can also use the search function at the top right hand corner and teleport to anywhere in the world that you want to go. And this is a really, really easy to use tool. We also have a link in the description which goes through a whole video on how to get this and we have a giveaway for that as well. So go ahead and check that link out in the description. We will also have Tenorshare's links in the description with a 30% off discount code as well. So make sure you go and check that out and the code will also be on the screen in front of you. So this is I Any Go by Tenorshare. It allows you to spoof your Pokemon Go with no need to jailbreak, catch more Pokemon and teleport around the world. So go ahead, check those links out. This is spoofing method number one. Let's move on to spoofing method number two. The second method of spoofing a Pokemon Go that I wanted to talk about was iPogo. Now this is a spoofed version of the app. You are going to need a computer to install this currently because you need to install it directly onto a machine, but once you have finished that, then it is completely mobile. And we have a complete tutorial on how to get iPogo in the description. So make sure if you want this method, go ahead and check that out. What it allows you to do is use a joystick to move around, as you can see. You can also then use the bar down the side to teleport to different places in the world. You can also use the radar system as well. So this is quite like iSpoofer, but iSpoofer was taken down. So iPogo is the only spoofing app that is available right now. As I said, you do need a computer to install this currently. However, we are going to talk about what happens next in the no PC versions of spoofing. So this is iPogo. This is the second method of installing, and this currently works. Let's now go and talk about iPogo, the third spoofing method. If you require a no PC method, then the news for you, I'm afraid, is quite bleak. Now, no PC methods always require a certificate in order to work. Every app needs to be signed by Apple so that they can trust that it opens and it's not a basically a hacked version. Now, in order for this to work, places like AppCake and App Valley, that if you're a subscriber you would have used before, they are starting to get annoyed with the fact that basically they put a new certificate on within a couple of hours, Apple then revoke it and they lose that. So they pay a lot of money for these certificates and they're going to start stopping producing them. So you need to make sure that if you are into Pokemon spoofing, you are pretty much going to need a PC. However, there is a gleaming light somewhere in the end of this tunnel. TutiBox, as I have explained quite a few times, are really battling against Apple's blocking and really trying hard to make it so that we can use revoked certificates by pretty much workarounds from Apple servers, blocking certain things. I'm not going to go into the details. Now, I know that Alf Saunders is really trying hard to bring methods as they come out. Now, we are constantly trying to find these new methods. When a method that is really reliable comes out, we will then produce a video tutorial and we also have our Twitter and Discord servers ready to go to show you those methods. So if you are really needing a no PC method, the best thing to do is make sure that you subscribe to us, follow us on Twitter and join our Discord server because as soon as a new method comes out via that, we could then introduce that directly to you. If you are not going to do that and you are going to say I need a, 
I need a no PC method. Unfortunately, there are none that exist currently as I am videoing this, all right? Unfortunately, you are going to need a PC. Now, hopefully in the future, there will be no, there will be no PC methods and I'm pretty sure they will start to come out, okay? There is always a way of working it around, but currently you are going to need a PC. If you have a PC, please make sure you check out those, those links in the description as we've already discussed, and also make sure that there are still people saying that they can't spoof because the Pokemon flee and they do this and they do that. Check out our videos on how to spoof safely, understanding how to do it via cooldown periods and so on, and make sure that you check those links out in the description. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you've liked this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See you all very, very soon.